Today we're going to learn the uh, Miles Davis composition, Freddie Freeloader. Freddie Freeloader is a 12 bar blues in B flat. Uh, we're going to learn the melody to it. It's very easy. There's only two little kind of chord shapes that you need to play it. So we'll be playing these chord shapes and the melody note will be the top note, the highest note of those chord shapes. So you'll hear the melody ring through. Now, the only difference between Freddie Freeloader and a standard 12 bar blues is that the last two chords of the song don't go back to the root, the B flat, goes down a whole step and ends on A flat. But don't let that deceive you. It's still a gut bucket, what I call a gut bucket, three chord blues and a very simple song to learn. So I'm gonna play you the melody all the way through first. It goes like this, one, two, three, four. Okay, there's the melody, all right? Now let's go back and learn it. It's very simple, okay? So you saw I only had two different shapes. I have this shape, which I'm gonna tell you what it is, and this shape, and all I'm doing is sliding them around. So that first shape is gonna be your second finger. You're gonna put it on the eighth fret on the fourth string. First finger, one fret back on the seventh fret, third string. Third finger is on the eighth fret, second string, so see it? It's a little, uh, kind of a little triangle shape, right? See it? So you're gonna, there's your first shape, all right? So what we do is we're gonna, we're gonna hit that. Now I'm using my fingers to play it just to, uh, to highlight it so you can hear it, but you'll probably play it with a pick when you play it. So uh, that first part goes like this. So you're gonna play that little chord, and remember the melody is this note, and that melody's gonna, just be that. And we're gonna take this shape and we're just gonna slide it all down. See it? Okay, so now we're gonna count it and put it into time. So it goes like this, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You end up there on three. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then on the count of four, let up on that. So. Uh, so again, here it is. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. See it? Okay, good. Okay, so there's the first one. Now I'm going to take that whole uh, configuration with those fingers. I'm going to slide it all the way up. Now my second finger is on the 13th fret. My uh, first finger is on the 12th fret. Um, third string. My second finger is on the fourth string and my third finger is on the second string on the 13th fret just like before and we're gonna do the same thing. Okay only we don't repeat that twice we only do it once so it's one two three four okay. All right then the next configuration we're gonna come down with our first finger on the uh, sixth fret fourth string and our second finger is gonna be on the next fret up on the third string on the seventh fret. And then the little finger, the melody note on top, it's gonna to extend way up to the ninth fret and it's on the second string. Okay, so then that shape, you're gonna play those. Play, remember, this is a chord, you're playing it all together, but you're emphasizing this top note, the melody. So you're gonna hit it and then move it up. Move it up a half step. So that's just up one fret each. And then move it back down. And then move it down again. Keeping the same shape. And then lay the second finger down when you get to this last uh, landing spot. Well, second to last anyway. You're going to lay your second finger down and play that note by itself. It's on the second string on the sixth fret. So... 
and then stay there. Keep your fingers hovering because you're going to play that shape again down here. One half a step. So this is the very last uh, note of the song. First finger, fourth fret, fourth string, uh, second finger, fifth fret, third string, and then your little fingers on the seventh fret, second string. And there's your ending note. You're going to hold that. And that's held for seven beats, just like the first configuration. Two, three, four, one, two, three. Okay? So let's do that little part here where we where we start this and, and we just keep this this chord and we slide it. So one, two, three. This is on beat four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. End of the song. I'll do it again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Okay, let's put that all together. Here it is. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Forgotten to tell you after you play the E flat part up here that you go back and you repeat the first uh, configuration again, um, just like you did in the beginning. Okay, so let's play the whole thing one more time, all the way through. Okay, um, I think I'm going to count it again just to make sure that we get to have the timing right because that's really the most important thing because your fingers really you really don't need to think about much you've only got these two shapes but it's the timing of when you're sliding when you're switching so here we go one two three four Okay, ready for reload. 